Hi folks, Steve here at Ross Trailers. Today we're going to take a closer look at a 2023 Venture RV Sport Track Model 291 VTQ. Yeah, VTQ. New floor plan for 2023. It's got queen size bed over queen size bed in the kids room. So actually true queen size bed. 60 by 80 just like at home. One over uh, the other one. Uh, very unusual floor plan. We're super excited to have it. Uh, like I said, brand new for 2023. So we're going to skip the outside video. Uh, I took some pictures. Uh, it's built exactly like every other Venture RV product or RV Sport Trek uh, trailer. It's got tons of very interesting features. So take a moment and do uh, take the time to read up uh, what I have written on my ad there to see all of the very interesting features this trailer has on the outside, including a full outside kitchen that would be sink with a hot and cold griddle and fridge. Uh, two inch itch at the back, perfect for your bike rack. Uh, this one's equipped with solar panel on the roof. Uh, it's got a roof ladder, it's ready for backup camera. Like tons and tons of features. Well, I just want to focus on the interior. Uh, this time, like I said, we're a little tight for space. It'll be a little harder for us to get around the trailer uh, right now. So let's start at the front. As soon as you get in, uh, one of the things people like is there's a, actually a real closet with some hooks, perfect for your coat. Right above is your monitor panel, so you got your button for your slide out and awning, some of the lights, uh, your water heater that runs on gas and electrical, your water pump, as well as the awning lights. Uh, your monitor panels for the tanks are also here. You also get your charge controller for the solar panel that's on the roof. That's kind of nice. It's right here when you come in. You can see how much voltage is in there. Okay, so that's a great way to start. Uh, there's a, a little motion detector lights here at the entrance. Uh, it'll turn on as soon as uh, it's emotions. And we have uh, this little cabinet, this little hidden cabinet with a 12 volt power outlets and a 110. Perfect to put your phones or your tablet uh, to get charged. So when you come in, uh, we have our kitchen to the left. We have our entertainment system to the right. That entertainment system is a 40 inch TV and a AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth, USB, auxiliary, uh, HDMI, uh, stereo. So it does, it does it all. There's also a fireplace here and it produces some heat. So kind of nice for those uh, cold night. Um, you don't need to start the furnace using propane. If you're plugged in, you can just use electricity to heat the place. Now, right across from that TV is uh, our theater sitting. So that theater sitting, actually this uh, centers up, goes up, but um, it's cup holder and there's a power outlet and USB outlets there as well. And also with the control of the heated seats as well as the massage, there's also another USB outlets on each side. So pretty nice unit. We have pleated shades on all the windows, a little bit of storage above, LED lights, uh, basically through the trailer on the interior as well as on the exterior and there's a light switch for those lights in the slide out it's kind of nice right beside there's our booth traditional booth one thing that i really like is it provides you with some pretty large bin well, pretty much the entire length of the booth so it's nice to fill that up and bring that in the table goes down that will convert into a bed there's a skylight with a blind it's uh when the trailers are on the outside, it's incredible the amount of light that it brings in. Really like that. Um, Kitchen-wise, we have our pantry with an adjustable shelf. You can add or remove if you want. This trailer comes with a gas electric fridge, eight cubic foot, very large fridge. It runs on propane and it runs on electricity. Right below is our pots and pan drawers. Tree burner stove with cast iron grill, animal finish oven, and we have a little cutting board with the Etch logo of the company, and that fits as well on the sink. There we go. Talking about the sink, uh, farmer style stainless steel, under mounted, very deep, and a restaurant style tap, the newest trend. Everybody love those taps. Uh, there are some drawers, plywood main, ball bearing hardware, the whole drawer comes right out, kind of nice, it's pretty standard now I think for most uh, manufacturer that cares about what they're building. 
Uh, nice little cupboards with a shelf that's already installed. And on the other side of that counter, we have a spot for extra pots and pans or whatever you may want to carry with you. Now, there's a little bit of storage underneath the, the TV as well. Could be a good spot for the snack. And I think that tours our uh, living area. Take a look at the bathroom. It's on the way to the front bedroom. It's got two door, foot flush, porcelain toilet. It's got a night light, LED motion detector. It's got a light switch on the wall and a fan switch as well. This little gizmo is to help you level the trailer. It is uh, it designed to uh, sync to an app that you download on your phone. It'll tell you when you're side to side level and front to back. There's a nice video shower. Surrounding, there's a skylight. A very large medicine cabinet. Stainless steel sink on the vanity. A little bit of storage below. Really like the tap. There's a power outlet and there's a door to the bedroom directly. Now, all Sport Trek comes. Uh, the furnace is either through the floors and our AC is. Uh, cool to uh, the vents on the roof and all the vents on the roof are closable as well. Our front, front bedroom, true queen size bed, 60 by 80, so that's the first thing. Comes with a nice uh, bedspread and pillow shams. There's the front windows, I think everybody loves the front windows. There's a blind there as well. There's a power outlets and a USB outlets on one side and there's a power outlets on the other side. One other thing that I really like is they cut that shirt closet uh, because that's just waste of space. They put a shelf there. Really like that. And talking about the shirt closet, there's a real bar in there and the real hanger is going to fit. Two windows for ventilation. Both of them open and there's a roof vent as well. And there's a light switch on the wall. And last thing is there's even a little spot if you want to put a TV in here with a power outlet and a cable hookup for a cable. So folks, I think uh, that, uh, well, one more thing, I guess. I'd like to show it plywood bed base gas struts underneath the bed nicely cleaned up front storage pass-through is actually closed from what uh, goes in under the bed here so you can actually leave some pillows and blankets and it's not going to get dirty with your barbecue and lawn chair so that wraps it up for our front bedroom let's take a look at uh, the rear bedroom the highlight of this trailer we do have a lot of demand for two queen size bed, and this is what it is. Again, two of them, 60 by 80. It comes with a ladder. There's a window in each one of them. There's a USB outlet and a light in each one of them. There's a power outlet on the bottom. Tremendous amount of storage. And half the bed, on the bottom is actually opened up so a great spot to put some bins or anything that would be larger items that you want to store and the reason why only half of it is because the other half is being used for your outside kitchen uh, the bunks capacities are 500 pounds so no issue sleeping um, just about anybody up there another TV location there's a window there's a roof vent so there's three windows in this trailer all of them open in the roof vent so ventilation is incredible uh, we talk about uh, the length, 34 foot, 6 inch overall length, that's including the tongue. And this trailer is just over 7,200 pounds. So, uh, extremely towable, uh, but still large enough to be parked in the campsite permanently. Um, I think a lot of folks will like the fact that, uh, you know, they can take a family member with them, maybe mom and dad, or a sister and a brother, or whatever it is, and uh, so there's room in the back for, um, uh, uh, people to know to sleep on a normal queen size bed so folks i think that wraps up the uh little tour of our uh sport track 2023 291 vtq new floor plan for 2023 if you have any questions please give us a call better yet stop by we'll be happy to show you folks i think we've done it thanks for